All right, we're back for game turn 39. I have a little bit more energy. It is the uh, <laughs> it is daytime instead of nighttime when I filmed 38, and I was really super tired. Um, I was curious, and I was where I am compared with the actual campaign. So I was looking at the little booklet that comes with the uh, with the game, and in February, the end of February here. Um, they were already at the end of the airport. It looks like they were already hitting uh, what's termed as the meat grinder here, um, whereas I'm still backing away from it. But I'm farther up here than they were. Um, this being March 2nd. Here's kind of where they're, and it's, it's it's all jumbled. You'd have to study it, you know. This is just a quick glance at it. Um, but the March 2nd front line was pushed in the middle. It looks like they were already over Airport 3 in the middle. And then they were kind of stuck, still kind of stuck with a, a few of the uh, a few of the positions here in, in the meat grinder and turkey knob and everything. So, um, how does that stack up right there? Yeah, it looks like they had probably already push through this and we're kind of slogged down right here um, and then they didn't make a whole lot of progress through March 10th March 9th and March 10th front line is still kind of stuck here so not a, a I don't think a whole lot of happened I mean and, and, it, and it was a different campaign I mean this is this is ending things by March 11th. They were there and they were still picking people off of pillboxes and stuff, you know, well into April. Uh, but uh, for the purposes of this game, I got to push all the way through by March 11th. It is now the evening of March 2nd. Uh, I'm probably I'm probably a little bit behind um, because I'm being cautious. But maybe because I'm being cautious, I have a better chance because I'm not getting my guys as hurt as they would be. I don't know. Um, I'm going to get myself into trouble right here, knocking this thing over. But, let's see where it goes. Uh, we do have an HQ phase. Um, no replenishments, no replacements. But I can um, up my markers over here. The 26th can reach four out. These guys who I had pulled off and moved are now down, still in two range. Uh, 9th and 10th are still off, 27, oh wait, 27, what did I do? Yeah, to, um, headquarters 27 and 28 were on the move. I placed them. No, no, they're still, they're still on the move. Yeah. So in this phase, I can flip them during the HQ phase like so and now I can put them on the track at that top two spot so they can um, they can project out too uh, all right uh, let's see any garrisons that I care to see probably these positions up here Although, where's my, I can't remember where my, I'm going to take my garrison markers over around the table here. I cannot remember. There it is, command post. Yeah, so, I mean, all of those, the command post is a garrison, I'm not going to worry about that, but I'll garrison these yellow positions here. Can't garrison the red. Do, 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 do. I've already this one's technically garrisoned. I just I don't have the garrison markers in along you know along the line. I just have them back, or I have them in along the line, but I don't have them back because there's just not enough of the garrison markers, and it keeps the board cleaner. So just for the heck of it, though, just for the sake of showing that I have these black positions, I'll put these back on here. 
Um, that should be about it. I mean, that, that I already have a garrison. That's back behind the line, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, this blue position, maybe. Uh, green projects, I have green, so yeah, blue. Blue is garrisoned. Artillery destroyed. Uh, tanks flipping all over the place. Um, that looks to be about it. Definitely not here. Uh, and down here, yeah, uh, I can probably, let's see, red doesn't project into here, at least not this red. So I can garrison this one. Uh, green, I can garrison, wait, 27, no I can't, because 27 hasn't stretched yet. So it's just two out. Yeah, so, all right, that looks to be it. And that looks to be the end of my HQ phase. So, first event phase is going to be Japanese reinforcements. All right, so, guess what? I'm in sector four. Japanese do have reinforcements in Sector 4. So I think it's just one, one marker, right? Add a Japanese depth to the nearest vacant position adjacent to a U.S. unit. So where am I adjacent to in Sector 4? Only the ones that are actually occupied. So there are no... Sector 4 unoccupied. Oh, right here, right here. L8. Alright. Oops. I mean, technically my unit isn't in Sector 4. But I have to believe that that's going to happen. Because I do have units in Sector 4. It doesn't specify next to a unit in Sector 4. So that's, that's going to be it. Alright. Now I go hope the brown doesn't fire. Oh, well, really we gotta hope that a lot of things don't fire, but here we go. Uh, move this off. We've got, ouch, we've got black star. That's not good. Uh, green A and brown R. So brown is going to, it's gonna resupply and fire. This is, this one's not gonna be fun. Okay. Um, black first can hit stars. So that's these guys. Oh, my smoke from the last day is gone. This guy's no longer smoked out. So I've got two HQs here. No, I got one HQ. Uh, that'll get hit. And disrupted. This guy won't take a hit. Just the HQ. Uh, over here, the hero has already died. And that's not a circle. So they don't get anything. I think I'm moving. Well, here, here we go. Uh, all right, so that guy right there is a circle. And he will take a hit. And he will be disrupted with his pal below him. That's the wrong color. Probably not supposed to be disrupted. When did that get disrupted? I don't even know. I don't know if the guy below him is supposed to be disrupted and I just put the wrong color marker on him. Probably. Alright. 
uh, that looks to be all of black. So that means purple positions in within two don't take that action. So this guy does not become undisrupted. Uh, now, do I have any other purple positions that can fire? It does not appear so. Alright, so green A action. First is going to be assault or artillery. Do I have any occupied greens next to me? That guy up there is disrupted. So he'll lose his disruption marker, but no other greens. And then, whoops, and then the, uh, the last thing would be ambush. Disrupt a US unit within three hexes using the target symbol. Do I have any unoccupied greens within three hexes? Does not appear that I do. All right. Uh, and then R, resupply. Place a, place a depth marker and fire. So I know I got the guy that just came in. Uh, his buddy here loses his disruption. This guy gains a depth. That is a sector four depth. That's the first time I pulled out a sector four. Regular depth marker and fire. Now, everything around him is steady, not intense. So, no, didn't get lucky. That guy's a circle. And that guy's a circle. But that's steady from this position. Again, line of sight rules in addition to the dots. That's going to be steady from this position, and he was not able to fire. So it's just the one guy. It could have been worse. That's my motto for this game. Could have been worse. Sometimes it has been worse. But most of the time it just could have been worse. Alright, so that guy takes a hit gets disrupted. Uh, oh, I guess that's going to be yellow. Where's the guy over here that got hit? It's this guy. This should be yellow. No, because the guy underneath him was green. Ugh, well, yellow. I don't know that this guy below him should have been disrupted still, but I'm going to leave him that way. All right. So that is the only brown position. This guy's brown. These guys could potentially get hit. Nope, no circles. All right, but he will resupply and fire. So he gets a depth, regular depth. And he would fire, but not hit anything. All right, so that's the R. Redeploy is move one closer. There really aren't a whole lot of units that are out there that could move closer. Uh, black, black. This guy did the resupply. So yeah, no resupply. Reinforce, unoccupied within three hexes. Place a reserve unit and depth marker and don't fire. This guy's more than three away. One, two, three, nope. He's four away. Oh, one, two, three. Dang it. <laughs> Both of these guys. Ooh. That's, well, I mean, here's the thing. I'm getting units on the board, right? Unless, of course, they're tank units. Then it's not good. Depth. Depth. Getting units on the board. The more units I get on the board, the fewer units can come on the board later on. That's my theory. Get them on now. So that I don't have to worry about them later. Because now my reinforcement stack is down to three here in the uh, four sector reserve. Okay. Um, no other browns. That guy was already there. No other browns. Yeah, so that's, that's the R action. Alright. Well, that looked a lot worse than it was. Units came on the board. Oh, wait, I didn't do the green. Did I do the green? Yeah, there weren't any greens. I did do the green. All right, well, that turned out okay. 
All right, let's see what we have now for the second action. Naval gunfire. Sweet. I will take it. That puts me... Where is my naval? Ooh, that puts me at four on naval gunfire. So I need to use two of them this turn. I need to make sure I'm supplementing attacks and doing whatever and using that naval gunfire to go. All right. It's going to be my turn next. All right, coming back in. Um, I don't think I hit this guy with the black position. I'm pretty sure I didn't. He's got a disruption marker from last turn on it. It is a circle. Not that it matters because he's in an uh, intense field of fire. And this is the guy I knew was probably going to be my um, my catastrophic loss. So the thing is, if you remember, well, not that it's going to matter. Um, the If he's already disrupted, he doesn't get redisrupted. So I wouldn't flip this to a yellow. So he'll lose this disruption this turn. Which sounds great, but the problem is he's going to get hit next turn too, and 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 then he'll get redisrupted. So he's going to flat out die. He's going to be my first loss, and there's nothing I can do about it. These guys did not get hit, however, and so they can jump down into this position, and they're relatively safe because only purple projects um, steady field of fire. I can get them down there. Purple's disrupted, so I can get have another turn to get them out, and hopefully that. Um, oh wait, no, I can't. I can get the one guy off, but my uh, leader has to stay there because he just got hit this turn because of that stupid <laughs> star event. Uh, yeah. So anyway, this guy can jump off. Uh, let's see what we can do here. These guys have got to smack this guy. Uh, I've got some naval barraging that I could do. Uh, but I don't see... I think they're going to be just supplements to attacks. Because I really don't have anybody that needs to be disrupted. Those two up there, but I hopefully will defeat those now. I can't barrage that brown position up there, way up at the top. Um, that just came in. Because he's unrevealed. So, um, I will probably use naval gunfire when I attack, because I'm going to have to attack that, that double brown position from across the way. So let's, let's start down here close to me. Let's see what we can do. This guy is in rocky terrain, so my effectiveness is halved. I am flanking, so the only thing that can probably stop me from defeating this guy is if he's got close combat. Uh, that is a full 20, which is 10 halved. Um, so I could come in. It would be nice to get to 12. But I don't have anything other than um, artillery to bring in. So let's use... Uh, let's see, where is my 5th? Yeah, I've got plenty of 5th Division Artillery. So let's use 3 points of 5th Division Artillery and 1 point of Core Artillery uh, to bring that to 24 so that just in case this guy is a, a 4 strength, I've got him. Now the only thing that can stop me from defeating this guy is if he's close combat. He is a 4 strength, but he only needs Bazooka and Machine Gun, which I have from these two. He's cut off. So he dies. He's gone. Off the game board. Alright, so that worked. Now we have to figure out... Uh, let's see, these guys get undisrupted. I can't remember how they got disrupted in the first place. Oh, probably my... Um, yeah, those were the guys I disrupted for my artillery strike. Alright, so now we start moving across. Uh, these guys can only move one in this type of terrain. So they'll come here and we hope that yellow doesn't have an event next turn. Uh, these guys will come out of here. These guys are disrupted. Why are these guys disrupted? What hit them? Oh, they'll become, they probably got hit by purple last turn or something. They'll become undisrupted this turn. All right. Uh... And then 
Then I'll jump into here. My tanks will remain, I guess. They can't really move anywhere. They're on the, they can move down. They're on the corner of this road right here. The reason they're in the rock right here is because this road right at the bottom here, I mean, is that on screen? Yeah, um, the road right at the bottom of the blue hex there goes through that blue hex. And so tanks can be on roads, therefore that tank can be there. He could move up into here. I mean, I will have to get him to be able to barrage them. So I don't know that I want to move them at all. But they're really not close enough to do anything. Hmm. I don't know. All right, let's go hit these ones up here and then let's go ahead and zoom in. I haven't zoomed for a while. Uh, let's go ahead and hit them up there and then we'll do some movement. All right. So this guy needs flamethrower and bazooka. If I got around him, if I barraged him and got around him, he wouldn't retreat. So do I take the extra time to do that? I got tanks available to me. I got a set of tanks there, uh, possibly for this guy. I've got a set of tanks here, yeah, uh, that can reach that guy. So let me see what I can do here for this attack on this guy. Um, shoot, these guys can't see him. So I can't really attack this guy. That sucks. Because all I've got is that's in his field of fire is this measly little unit here, my HQ. Because the other guy got hit. Um, nuts. Well, my options are this. I, I don't think there's any way that I can get any kind of strength on this guy. I mean, I could possibly get lucky and have the, uh, if I come in with a naval and some artillery, um, I'll have, that's halved in here, so that's two, and able would be eight. I could bring some artillery and get it to, say, 10 or 12. And if I have the, yeah, okay, if I have the weapons, then he'll get disrupted and his buddy underneath him will get, uh, will get uh, pushed back. So maybe that's the call. So that's two points in here because it's halved. Uh, bring a naval strike on him. That'll give me eight. Bring some artillery. Bring three points of third division. And then one point of uh, core. That's another four, so that's twelve. So as long as I have the weapons, he will be... I'll get, I'll get my three to one on him. It's two to one. I need bazooka and flanking. So no. I get rid of the guy underneath him. It bumps down to two. So I get rid of the guy underneath him, but he is still uh, he is still there. Because I had strength. And I don't have flanking. Goes to two to one. Japanese unit. Death marker eliminated, but no disruption. So He is still in communication, so he goes up here. This guy is not disrupted. And I cannot barrage him because I've already attacked him. So, and then this guy has gone. The guy below him is disrupted. So I can move these guys over here 
and they will stop. Uh, I'll move their HQ over to here and they will stop. And then I think I stick and move. Um, let's barrage this guy and knock him out or, or uh, uh, disrupt him. And then we'll maneuver some units to get in front of him. I gotta hit this guy. So before I do that, let me attack this guy. Um, there's nothing I can do about him retreating. But I don't want him to remain undisrupted. So I've got... I've got... Tw uh, 16 and a rifleman that can substitute for the flamethrower if I need it. So that should be enough to get this guy as long as he's not close combat or flanking. So these guys are coming, are hitting here. Now oh, it's just a measly little guy, but he does need flanking. Dang it. Uh, well, shoot. So that's two to one, so it's just Japanese disrupted. Dang. He's a little dude. I haven't seen a non-elite unit in I don't know how long. And I couldn't I couldn't even I couldn't even get him because he requires flanking. So but at least he's disrupted. He's not gonna hit me. So I can move these guys in here. They're in brown steady but not intense. Um, and then I'll have the flank on him. So now if I disrupt this guy and disrupt this guy, I can move these guys here, I can move these guys here. And then all three of these guys, well, this guy won't be because of this, but I can potentially um, close combat him or maneuver and, you know, or hit him and he'll go away. But then I control that. And then these three guys I can hit and they won't, uh, they won't retreat. They will be gone. I think I like that plan. All right, so let's work on disrupting them. I got tanks here. I got two sets of tanks here. I got two sets of tanks there. So let's go with, uh, I need, let's go with the top guy first. So I need a brown and or a triangle. I got a brown. So that guy's disrupted. Uh, and then this one here, I can hit with the second guy down here, which is a diamond. So I need a brown or a diamond. Got neither. Okay. Third tank is a circle. Oh, I'm sorry. I need a green or a diamond. I had a green. Wrong position. All right, so he's disrupted. Okay, now, they're disrupted, this guy will move here, I now control this guy's escape, this guy will move here, I now control this guy's escape, and after I kill that guy, I will control this guy's escape. Whoa. Um, yeah, those guys won't move. Okay. Uh, see, that's 124s, that's 124s. I can move. Well, let's just do this. Let's keep those with the tanks. We'll move these guys into here. Alright, now it's what to do about that black position. This guy unfortunately got disrupted. He was the guy I was going to move in here to suppress his fire. And now I can't. Um, 
so uh, I don't know. Let me zoom back and let's look at this grouping here. Um, all right, continue to circle. Uh, these are all fourth division guys. My fifth division is coming around. Do I bring my fifth division into steady field of fire or do I bring them outside? I think my fifth has got to be the ones that, that attack this brown position. So I want to move these guys up. Or at least over. Let's move them here, here. Uh, I can bring my tanks in. Well, I don't want to bring my tanks in. Jeez. They'll be an intense field of fire. So let's leave them right there. These guys, that's intense field of fire. I don't want to do that. Alright, so let's calculate what the next turn looks like. These guys move in. As long as they don't get hit. At least one of them will move in. And then I'll have one hex. These guys can come in. These these guys potentially will be in position. So I think I'm all right there uh, as far as my advancement. Now I just got to figure out what to do with the rest of the fifth. Uh, I mean, in reality, they're all kind of strung around in position. Now, because I, I need to, I need to come in this way. I think. What do I have? I got one, two, three, four, five, six plus tanks, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. If I moved them all around, but if I create a gap, I'm, I might have some. Well, yeah, I might not have my zone of control like I have been but I gotta keep moving them I do alright so these guys I can move them two spaces so but that's black mm. uh, steady I don't know that I want to do that so we'll move them here and these these guys two along here um, these guys two along here they're tanks and do the same. They can go one, two. That's one hex, one field, one hex movement, and then they move out. So they won't take muff for moving out. And then three right there along that road. These guys will come up and over. These guys over. These guys up one. That guy up one. Like that. Okay, and everybody else down here, uh, disrupted, disrupted, I moved this guy down here on this turn, that guy's in purple, I'm not worried about him, everybody else I think is set where I want him, there's this headquarters, yeah, I think I moved him off, and this guy was um, disrupted. I took the disruption off of him, that's why he didn't move back. Alright, uh, this guy loses his disruption, and that should be it. Make sure there's no disruption markers I'm missing anywhere. This guy will lose his disruption. Wait, no, he just got hit. Why is he... What am I losing? Am I losing green or am I losing... No, I'm losing... Um, shoot, so where did I pull this off of? Here? Yeah, sure. Uh, green is losing disruption. Okay. That should do it.
artillery 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 we are down to six in sector three plus three from sector four is nine eight so one unit gets disrupted and then I got seven in sector four nine so one unit gets disrupted or gets hit and then I'll disrupt a two stack to cover for that so um, These guys are, I guess, okay down here without doing anything. So they'll be disrupted. And then up here, uh, this guy on the flank over here, they'll get disrupted. And they're fine. Okay. So there we go. No rage that I can see. So that's it. That is turn 39.